Drago mi je da mogu da vam saopštim da nas je danas u Subotici posetio njegova ekscelencija, ambasador Sjednje Uniječkih država i da smo imali jedan veoma korektan i konkretan razgovor vezano za saradnju lokalne samuprave grada Subotice i ambasade Sjednjih američkih država. Prevenstveno su se teme ticale mogućnosti poboljšanja ekonomske i privredne saradnje i pomoći koje bi se moglo ostvariti vezano za napredjenje našeg školskog sistema koji se isto tako nadovezuje na razvoj naših privrednih potencijala. Gospodin ambasador nam je izneo veoma interesantne i veoma korisne predloge i ja se nadam da ćemo u daljem toku predloge i sugestije koje smo razmatrali i konkretizovati i to što smo u ovom glorijesu bildingu koji reprezentuje gledanje past u ovom glavu. Veliko mi zadovoljstvo što sam danas u Subotići u ovoj zaista slavnoj zgradi koja prikazuje jednu divnu prošlost ovog grada. But today with the mayor and his team we talked about the future of Subotići rather than just the past. Ali danas sam imao prilike da sam joj donačnikom i njegovim timom razgovaram više o budućnosti, a ne baš mnogo o prošlosti. And we talked about the economic future. I know that there's new investment coming here but also we talked about agriculture and the development in that area. Razgovarali smo prvenstveno o ekonomskoj budućnosti. Ja znam da ovdje postoje mnoge nove investicije, ali smo se dotakli i poljoprivredi i mogućnosti koje leže u poljoprivredi. I have to say that I've been here before. I came here to play tennis because I like doing that and also you have some famous tennis players from here. Dolazio sam ovdje i ranije, moram da priznam, ja sam veliki ljubitelj tenisa, da sam igrao tenis, ovdje ali imate jako dobre igrače od tog sporta. I've also tasted some of the wine from this city, it's pretty good. Također sam probao i nešto vina iz ovog rada i ono je zaista jako dobro. But I want to say that that's part of an example of the wide variety of things that it produces. Ali to je upravo još jedan dokaz i primjer koliko su stvari raznolike ovdje u Subotici. We also have a wide variety of, of different peoples here between the Hungarians, the Serbs, Croats, and others who are a significant part of what makes Supotica Supotica. A to su i primjer činjenica, to je primjer činjenica da ovdje zajedno žive i Mađari, i Srbi, i Hrvati, i sve druge nacionalne manjine. And I'm pleased to see that the uh, city government understands that they play an important role in, in making the future what people want. A, a bright place where you can raise young people, where families can, can develop, and where young people feel that they'll have a future because they'll be good jobs. I drago mi je što vidim da lokalna vlada ima razumevanja i vidi da igravamo važnu ulogu u stvaranju povoljnije budućnosti za mlade ljude koji će biti obrazovani, koji će imati mesto, koji će se zaposliti ovdje i tako stvarati nove prilike i za svoju vlastnu decu. My embassy through USAID recognizes that Subotica has strong chances to be dynamic and has been involved with Subotica in the agricultural area to help on some of the exports and some possibilities there and some transformation in our parts of agriculture. Upravo moj tim iz Međunarodne agencije, pardon, Američke agencije za Međunarodni razvoj USAID radi na projektima koji se tiču tih velikih šansi koje Subotica ima u ekonomskom razvoju. Pokušavamo da pomognemo da Subotica bude zaista jedno dinamično, dobro razvijeno mesto. Pravimo se i pitanjima poljoprivrede, pokušavamo da pomognemo i u obrazovanju, ali i u tome šta i kako da poljoprivredna proizvodnja prođe kroz tranziciju i promeni se transformiša da postane još bolje i uspešnije. And we also talked today about some of the new companies that are coming here and the fact that so far not so many American companies have come. And so we, we talked about how we could work together to understand better 
the, in, in industry and in, and in business where the opportunities are here so that we can share that with American companies. Ali smo zato razgovarali o tome uh, zajedno kakve su to šanse i šta zapravo s druge strane traži investitor ili američke kompanije kako bismo mogli s njima da podelimo šta li ovdje posjedujete i da li to izgunjava njihove uslove. So I look forward to continued and growing cooperation with uh, the government here as uh, they help move the economy forward and create jobs for the citizens here. But when it comes to concrete things about education, uh, some of it is at the national level that can be pushed down. Ali kada govorimo o konkretnom obrazovanju, postoje neke stvari koje se sa tog nekog nacionalnog nivoa moraju spustiti na lokalnu. And that is, how can the education system provide the training to the people so that they're ready to take the jobs that are on offer? A jedna od ključnih stvari jeste kako školstvo da pomogne osobama da na kraju mogu da prihvate posao koji je oko njih, koji postoji, koji je u pomogu. So for instance, if it's an international company, I was with uh, this past week NCR. In 2011 in Serbia they had zero employees. Today they have a thousand. At the end of the year they will have two thousand. And some of the people who applied for jobs were good in all areas. Why not have schools train those people in that area? So for instance, if they need an engineer, and the engineer is a good engineer, but also needs to speak German, you have lots of professors who could help them more than German. Or they're good at computers and they speak Italian, but they need Cisco training. Why can't your schools do that? And so, you know, getting a little occasionally practical. I have a degree in biology and I have a degree in history. And neither one these days gets people much in the way of the job. I would need a little extra training to get a job in what's being offered these days. So that's what we were talking about and it's also what I'm talking about with the central government. Because that's got to be a team effort.